next guest, Sassoir, is the creator of Everybody Loves Raymond and the host of Somebody Feed Phil, which returns to Netflix next month for its sixth season. Please welcome to The Late Show, Phil Rosenthal. <laughs> Very nice. Nice people. Hi, hi, hi. Uh, nice to have you on the show. Not the first time we met. We met backstage at the, the old show at one point. I, that was That's my, what I understand. I yeah. gotta tell you, I love that show so much. I, I, you're, my, you're my absolute favorite. I just love you so much. Wow. That's this so is nice so... of you to say. You're no, one no. of my favorite guests at this point. I, uh, <laughs> this is a big night for me because I, you have Neil deGrasse Tyson. I wanted to be an astronaut when I was little. And, and I didn't? got astronomy I books, about right? the same age. Ch I, of Children course. of the 60s, Apollo, right? of course, yeah. I mean, that, I poured over those books, and, and I just, you know, to go to the moon, I mean, it was just unbelievable. And then I thought the coolest thing about being an astronaut was that they got to be on the Ed Sullivan show. <laughs> That's true. They would come by they, here. This that, is one of the stops. So this is full circle for me. No, you're, you're, you know, obviously you're one of the creators of uh, Everybody Loves Raymond. You're a comedy writer. Did you... <laughs> you, you know, you're a comedy writer. Did you want to work on a late night show when you were younger? Did you watch, like, the... Did you watch... Johnny Carson. Of course. Johnny Carson. Did sure. you ever get to meet Johnny? No, I really wish I, I, I had. I never got a, ch a chance to. But Johnny, of course, was, was God. Yes, and I got to meet him. I did. You win? I did. I'm I so did. jealous. When I'm did you sorry. meet Johnny? I I I wrote jokes for President Clinton, and there's like a humor season in Washington, not like year round like now. <laughs> there, there was like right the Al Smith dinner, the gridiron stuff like that. Yeah. Radio t and and the big one, White House correspondence, correspondence yeah. dinner, and those were when they needed the most jokes. My friend. Um, Mark Katz was the, their comedy person they would bring in, and he would bring me in because I was from Everybody Loves Raymond, and they, they, I guess they liked that. So I would write jokes, and I always wanted to do a video. But at the time, the president didn't do videos, and they thought I was nuts. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like, Obama was so great at it. He did Between Two Ferns. He, did, he was sure. like a master at yeah. it. But the last year, his last correspondence dinner, I got to direct the President of the United States in this comedy video. Clint. You can see it on YouTube, yes. yes. It's called The Final Days. And I did it with my brother and, and Mark Katz and the people at the White House. And this thing hit the White House correspondence dinner and my life changed. And the next day, my friend Tony DeSena calls me. He goes, I showed it to a friend of mine. He wants to have lunch with you. I said, who's your friend? He said, Johnny Carson. Wow. Yes. Yes. Wow. So you I go. LA? Yes. You're in LA. Okay. So when I got back to LA, I had, I guess, some chutzpah to ask, could I bring a friend? Because I knew you need a witness. Well, this fellow that I was working with, yeah. like you just said, to, to yeah. me it's Johnny Carson, Johnny yeah. Carson, Johnny Carson. Sure. But to you, just said it, it's God. Yeah. So I brought my friend Ray Romano with me. <laughs> and we had lunch, and we had, we got, went to his office, it was in Santa Monica, and then he comes out, he's wearing, I'll never forget it, he's wearing a yellow sweater, yeah. white pants, he looked like he had just been playing tennis, he looked fantastic. Sure, probably had been. And then we went downstairs and we had lunch for two hours. Wow, did you ask him? Like, what did you say? What do you talk to Johnny Carson about for two you hours? You become the John Candy character. Remember when you said this? That was great. Yes. You know, that, and you, but, yeah. but, so we're doing, we're doing these bits that we remember from the show, and he starts doing his part. He starts like, he like, like Art Fern back to you? Uh, yes, anything you wanted. It was like a dream. Karnak? I feel like it's like how you would be. So nice, so sweet. He was so warm and gracious. Why didn't you quit show business at that moment? Because that's that would be peaking. I, I had to get to you. It was a beautiful candle. It was a beautiful candle. I really loved it. Okay. It's true. Now let's talk about your, your Netflix series. And yes, congratulations let's... on 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 the sixth season. Six. Somebody feed Phil. 
You go all around the world and yes. you eat all kinds of food, yes. and yet you're thin. Somebody has to. Okay. <laughs> now, uh, you've got some stuff back here. I do. To explain because to you need to know, to... when I heard that you yeah. like food as well, I love you food. don't, I bet. It's one of my don't... favorite things to put in my mouth. Yes. <laughs> you need to know about this place. You've been to okay. Florence, Italy. I have. So yeah. the, the most famous sandwich shop in Florence is called Antico Vanaio. Okay. They opened at 9th and 46th. In New York? Yeah. So a sandwich shop from Florence has opened here? Yeah. Those and are the only two branches? Yeah, so far. Okay. I have nothing to do with it. I'm not advertising. Would you like a little... little okay. There you go. <laughs> How there fun you go. is this, everybody? This is very Don't nice. you wish you were me right now? <laughs> yeah. Cheers. I am the luckiest. <laughs> you seem, you will not you, have, you, you seem happy to meet everybody. I am. Yes? I am. There's no one you're not happy? You've never, have you never been not happy to meet somebody? I don't know, the dentist. <laughs> let's eat a sandwich. Okay, what do we, I'll what, tell you what about are we, it. What am I eating here? I think let's open it, because they didn't label it, did they? Uh, you're having, you're having yes. the chef's special. Yes. And I'm having uh, the uh, Dolcese d'autunno, lardo, gorgonzola, lardo. Yeah. You know what lardo is? Uh, it's like... The fat of the pig. Yeah, it's, but like, the, but... it's, like, it's like fat bologna. Yes, but very tasty. But okay. wait, we have to. You, we, this what? is what we do. You have to have this half a half and half. So you try both, right? Okay. I can't. We can't be okay. friends if you're not. This is what, wait. You, this yeah. is what you do for a living. <laughs> Life is good. There's beauty all around us. Look, 9th and 46th. Mm. Beautiful. They make the focaccia in the store. Amazing. They, right? May I try your sandwich? No. Yes. Mm. There's, I think there's truffle cream on that one. Mm. Mm. Yes, you hear the audience. Mm. I wish I had for everybody. <laughs> mm. This seems like an easy job. <laughs> I What's the hardest thing about going places? Yeah. Because, like, your show, Stanley Tucci's, you know, looking for Italy. Yeah. Did he find it? Not yet. <laughs> do, what do you, you go when you eat and you make friends? It's really, I'm on a mission. I'm just using food and my stupid sense of humor to get you to understand the beauty of travel. Uh, the world would be better if we all could experience just a little bit of other people's experiences. <laughs> Season six of Somebody Feed Phil premieres on Netflix on October 18th. The book of the same name. Bill Rosenthal. We'll be right back.